Hi, my name is Ben Sinclair. I'm an MPH candidate at Eastern Washington University, and this is in a series of videos about using EpiInfo. Today we're going to um, begin to look at the visual uh, data analysis part of EpiInfo. So I'll go ahead and bring up EpiInfo here. <clears throat> All right, and we're going to use the visual dashboard to start looking at analysis. So I'll so click there to select it. All right, and as it opens up here, you can see we've got a, a sort of a splash screen here that says uh, we can right click on the canvas to set data source. Um, or you can open existing dashboard canvas. So we could open a canvas here if we had one saved that we were working on before. Um, but since this is a new project, we're going to, or a new canvas, we're going to set data source, which I can do by clicking here. Let's get this pop up screen. Um, you could look, you know, if you've been working with a data source or something recently, you could look here to find the one you want. Um, or you can come down here to search your computer for one. <clears throat> and it takes us right to the projects folder for EpiInfo 7. We're going to use this E. coli data set. This is a pre-made um, data set that comes with EpiInfo when you install it uh, for practice purposes and things like that. Um, so we're going to use it to do some data analysis. We're going to choose the form called Food History and click OK. Now, it takes just a moment for it to load up that data. Up at the top of the screen in the center, it shows the data source and it shows that there are 359 records in this data source. That's a good thing to look at. It lets us know that everything is loaded up um, correctly and that we're ready to go. The other thing we can do is if we want to get a look at this data source, uh, or look at these records just to see what's in them, um, we can have EpiInfo list it as a, um, to do a line listing of, of the data. So we'll, we'll just right click on the dashboard. We're going to add analysis gadget line list. We get the line list properties box. <clears throat> um, you could go through and if you just wanted to see some of the variables we could select those. We're going to hit, I'm going to hit control A to select all of the variables. I'm not going to worry about sorting them or grouping them. I am going to just say we want to see the first 25 rows. Um, in the data set. Click down at the bottom, generate line list, and this just takes a minute to, to generate our list. Okay, um, okay up, up at the top we've got this little warning. I didn't display all 359 rows because we told it to only display 25. It's just reminding us of that. can scroll down and see that it's given us 25 rows. Uh, the variables are listed across the top here. And we can scroll over see some different things. Date of interview, first name, some questions about race. We have state. We've got latitude and longitude, so we could use um, the mapping software in EpiInfo to map these cases. Um, there's some questions about symptoms here and some questions about types of food eaten. 
that we can use later to create uh, more, to do more analysis about this E. coli data. So that's where we'll stop for now. Um, thank you very much, and we'll do some more analysis with this data source in the next video.